All right, welcome to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. I saw Flow Man, Madaya. Watch this. Parked up at my job. I'm about to go inside and do my day work, right? This morning, I released the preview to Vibes Cartel's All Aboard video. Go check that out. The video, that little preview that y'all see is nothing compared to what the whole video is. Yo, I see some picture. The, the brother Brilliant, the director who is shooting that and putting the whole thing together, right? Cast and crew, me see some picture where man send me come, you know, some footage. All them have all a Bentley car in the video and them something there. But, anyways, that's not what I come to talk about. Today, I came to talk about something called pay it forward. Pay it forward. Let me ask y'all something, and I want you to answer in the comment section below. How many of you, how many of you parents gave you things like me talk about significant things, then a start in life, then? How much other parents gave you a start in life? And when I say a start in life, I mean, I'm not talking about, oh, they sent you to a good school when you were younger or when you was a picnic and them lay a foundation. That's what every parent is supposed to do. That's your duty as a parent. Oh, they provided nice clothes and things for me and a nice neighborhood to live in so I never have a duck gunshot. That's what parents are supposed to do. I don't reward people for the things they're supposed to do. No picnic never ask you for grind and get them, right? So when they come, be responsible enough to take care of them if at least the minimum provide stability financially, even if you can't be there physically all the time. Now, above and beyond that though, I'm thinking about like this. Cause when I look at like my white bridging them, I shouldn't even say bridging, come in a keep bridging our friend. Our, when I look at my white associates then, there's a stark contrast different between the white and Hispanic ones and the black ones. Here's a difference, man. These other people then, I say other because they're not black, they sacrifice and set up their children. So by the time the kids reach 18, 19, 20, their children have a restaurant business to go own because my mom established that or my dad established that or them have college tuition fully paid for or trade school fully paid for or start up money put down and ready okay you're not gonna go to college this was your college fund we started this since you were five six seven years old you're 18 now 19 now you decide not to go to college because you want to be uh, a barber you're not just gonna be any regular barber just renting a chair in somebody's barber shop and starting from scratch. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take that college fund and you're gonna flip it into open this barber shop and beauty salon, right? So at 19, 20 years old, 21 years old, you look at a white person or a Spanish person, they own their own barbershop, beauty salon, tattoo shop. I mean, entrepreneurs, mechanic shop, whatever. Trade shop, whatever you want, whatever their interests are right why do we have to butter and struggle just like our parents did because they don't pay it forward our parents have a lot of talk they talk a whole bunch of shit about how great they want you to be but they don't help you to get there you can't help somebody to get there with just pure mouth and just pure talking i'm your child you brought me into the world what the hell did you put down for me nothing only thing you're gonna tell me is after i reach a certain age you're not responsible for me anymore and you don't owe me shit that's not how other people see it other people see it very differently you know what i'm saying and that 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 struck my mind this morning and i felt like talking about that this morning because a lot of you out there in, in soflo tv world have children already or are having children now or will be having children sometime soon and I want you to know that you should pay it forward, man. So your children don't come and suffer or have to struggle like how you had to struggle. A lot of us are selfish as hell to the point where we don't even pass shit down to our children. Because we live our lives wanting the best, nicest cars. So you can show off and say, I Benz me driving up. A new Benz may have in our may have the new Bima or may have the new X6 or may have the new this and the new that. All about vehicle and yeah, my house that over there, so I'm a nice house. And you have your own house that you struggle to pay for 
and check it. You pay for that house for your whole life. And by the time you done pay off that mortgage completely, you in your old age or on your way out of this life, because we all must expire, your children can't take over that house. Because now them have to go finish pay off your mortgage, pay land taxes upon the house as long as the house is there. And your little bimmer that you had, your $60,000 vehicle that you spent every month working and paying $450, $500 a month for, when you could have been putting $450, $500 a month in your in an account for your children, right, to grow interest until they hit an age of maturity where they can take the money and flip it into something good. You drive you out in a Beamer or Benz or whatever just to show off or just to say, I did this, I have this, I have that. We're not paying it forward. But Jamaican people, them, I saw enough of them still. I know enough Jamaicans that build foundation that make sure so them pick me all right, right? And the only catch is the child has to do exactly what they say. The child have to become what they want them to become instead of living out their dreams and them helping the child to fuel their dreams and become big at what they... Do you know that if a dream is fueled by interest, genuine interest and passion, then that dream becomes reality and becomes even more powerful. For instance, you want your son to be a lawyer, right? But your son is actually gifted in, say, he's gifted in mechanics. He just like fix car. I ask him, you know what, I'm not dirty mechanic, son. People are gonna look down upon me and the people car hood and bus hood and a fix car. Every day you're greasy and dirty, I go home. Huh. You know what I say? If you fuel that passion that child has, that child probably grow up for own not one successful business, but grow up to own. Actually, me know a mechanic right now that's making lawyer money. And I know lawyers right now that ain't making no damn money. So people are with this perception of title, right? So you notice that you might grow up and own a string of mechanics. Think about the first person that started Burger King. It's a global franchise now. KFC, it's a global franchise now. Walmart, it's a global franchise now. Any of those stores that you know, Wendy's, Taco Bell, I talk about just food and restaurant, but you could go on and on and talk about all other types of business franchised out into multi-billion dollar corporations started by one highly motivated person who believed in what they were doing and probably either i had good family support and backing or none at all and was fueled by that to go forward anyways so here are my thing is this enough of us parents didn't give us nothing okay but words to go out into the world with. Me tell you, say, if you do this, you know, me, why you never do that? And that me a plan for you, you know, I wanted you to be this. That kind of stuff. That shit don't do nothing for nobody, man. When your children really need help, be there. Fuel them with reality. And reality is, when my son Tafari grew up and him say, yo, dad, I don't want to go to school, you know, I actually want to study music. I should be able to say to him, okay, Fire, check this out. I don't want you to just go butter butter all over the place and stand on the street corner talking about you rapping. I want you to go to Full Sail University. I want you to go study how to sit in a professional multi-billion dollar recording studio and learn how to work everything in there so you can become one of the top producer engineers. Understand? And then you can be an artist behind that if you want to be an artist as well. That way you can mix, master, produce your own music, own all rights to your own music, that kind of stuff. Understand the business side of the music game, that kind of thing. Put yourself on because of your connections through the school that you went through. It's called alumni, that kind of shit. When Jaden ready, I don't want Jaden to be like that. This is this what I want to do and I'm like, okay, good luck. I know that needed plan for you, but and I don't have nothing to support you. One of my kids say, yo, dad, I think I want to own my own restaurant. Okay, come work in my restaurant. 
and learn under me how to run a restaurant. Even if you don't open the same kind of restaurant, you'll understand the business side of a restaurant, how to plan out a menu, how to serve your customers with courtesy, how to keep your recipes um, stable, like the same, so people come back and the, the thing tastes the same all the time. You know what I'm saying? How to market your business using modern day things like social media networks and all of them how to pay your taxes for your business how to hire people that are beneficial to your business how to franchise out your business how to own, own more than one location of this same business so you become something big like burger king mcdonald's those are the kind of things you need to do but we're not paying it forward man i got a message from uh, my mom this morning, she's over there talking about, um, my mom thing is she's very serious about her grandchildren, right? And I travel a lot for work. And I'm saying, she is like, you need to be here. These children need you now. I understand that. What about when I was in the military and I was gone on these 18 months, 16 months, 12 month deployment and only see my family for two weeks out of friggin' 16 months? Hmm? That's why I left that life there because I know that they need me. And now I'm still on the road because what I do for a living pays better on the road and I have a plan that I'm putting in motion. I'm not much to nobody beat but, but my own. You dig? And I'm slowly putting my shit together just like the Chinaman them. So watch how this one unfolds. Yeah? But I'm telling y'all this. Pay it forward. Not just with words. So when you tell your picnic about, yo, you need to be over here, have some money for put on pan it. When the youth say, yo, I want to start my own business, you know, that will, lead, that will have me closer to the family so I don't have to travel so much for work. So what kind of business you want to start, son, or daughter? She said, boy, I want to start my own dance studio, and she said, my dance good and them thing there. And you said, boom, see money here. Or see half fight here, you have the other half, work one more year, put the other half together, and me help you open it. That kind of stuff. All we do is tell our kids what we want them to become, what we want them to do. It's not your life. It's their life to live. Right? Some, some parents need to just keep them advice to themselves because they never lead by no example. And now the child out here in the world trying to figure it out and you still there, ying, 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 ying. Go away. Go away. Let people live them life. But to the parents, let me end this video by saying this. Put, pay it forward. Pay it forward. Build something and pass it on to your children. So them can be like little white picnic them and little Chinese picnic them and little Spanish picnic them. Them can own things at a young age and build bigger and pass it on to your grandkids and your grandkids to your grandkids. That's how people build wealth. It's so flow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Me, I'm going there, so go get my money for the day. And it's going to be an eventful weekend on SoFlow TV. I am at where internet is at now. So, you don't know. We about to turn up. Look for us on YouTube. Look for us on, uh, what is the name? Facebook. Look for us on Instagram. We are going to be there from now on. I'm out. Gone.